Yeah, we're getting there. There's a lot that goes into it. Let's see if everything fits. Then we'll go from there. And if everything doesn't fit, we'll have to figure something out. But... <coughs> Alright, uh, <clears throat> so one of the troubles I've been having, act I shouldn't say trouble, one of the challenges I've got to figure out here is, you know, that this farm barn piece is just shy of, well, it's 50, 50 and change inches long. Uh, I use a Cricut, as you've seen, I think, to cut out my vinyl. Right now, I just have a 12 inch mat. Basically, I end up piecing together five of those 12 inch mat pieces in order to get the full length stencil I need for this farm. I just ordered some 24 inch mat. I'm hoping I can use maybe a couple 24 inch lengths and then a single 12 inch length to get there. It's just gonna cut down my margin of error by a, a lot, quite a bit. So we're gonna try that out and see how it goes. barn here. We're working on this middle section as you can see. I just finished up that little window section. It took almost 40 minutes. They're just so tiny. Little windows. These pillars are in that first section we did. I've got a couple more little cupolas to do and a couple more little windows but uh, there's another piece. There's actually a kind of like a wind vane that goes on there which I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do for that. If you saw the other piece and maybe you haven't seen it yet, I did, um, for a clock face, I took some copper wire and made the clock hands. 
And so I'm thinking I can probably come up with something or just leave it, I don't know. It, it, might, be, it might be the wrong proportions if I go with it, but yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. And I haven't even started the third and I'm almost like, what am I, 400 piece? <laughs> Yeah, keep going. This thing is just the uh what the stickers are all attached to, but it's got the general outline of this piece on it. And so I think I can just cut the middle out and then I'll have, you know, it'll be two scale and then I can center it on this backer board. That's the plan. Once I do that, I'm gonna put everything on there, make sure everything fits, make sure I'm not missing any pieces, and then I'll start the glue up. There's a lot that goes into this. So I think, yeah, let me, I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna put it on there, get it centered, and then see if everything fits. And then we'll go from there. And if everything doesn't fit, we'll have to figure something out, but I feel good about it. 